10. That's the best night after all. We're here to give glory and thanks to God. Be down in St. Lucia all the time for about 25 years, coming every year for jazz. I'm back. Nine. It's, it's always good to, to just get a good release after such a long time of, of just being so constricted. The community involvement, the buzzes around, the artists are world class. It's just a spectacular feeling to have jazz back. Eight. We have different things, jazz, blues, Latin, pop. Seven. The Safe Schools Recognition Program is Sidima's way of acknowledging the efforts of schools to implement safety mechanisms at their institutions. This initiative is well placed within the Sidima Comprehensive Disaster Framework, which facilitates disaster risk management for everyone at every phase of the disaster management cycle in every aspect of life. Six. The Pan-American Health Organization and the World Health Organization continue to pledge support to the development of the region's healthcare system. The recent act of kindness by the two health organizations was a donation of much needed equipment to the Grocery Polyclinic. Um, the equipment, uh, maybe in a small contribution, but they make a huge difference in terms of the quality of care for the people. Five. The St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, and the water and sewage company, Wasco, have signed an agreement to increase the availability of pipeborne water to the Swazel region. This water tank will streamline water availability to households in the communities of Monjac, Bellevue, Fokako, Martin, Ravino, Duaden, Moguj, and other surrounding areas. Four. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, NCPC, spearheaded a piece of legislative reform labeled the Security Interest in Movable Assets Act, which aims to bridge the financing gap and improve national productivity and competitiveness. So what we're hoping to see is that St. Lucia is going to be first, so it's a pioneer um, in the Eastern Caribbean uh, region and particularly within the OECS member states. And so because they're going first, because St. Lucia is going first, um, we really hope that the other member states will come on board over the next number of years. Three. Earlier this year, the National Emergency Management Organization, or NEMO, facilitated training sessions for its new disaster management platform. This time it's the administrative training so that the persons being trained can assist NEMO with the maintenance of the DIMS. The previous sessions were for the people just using the system, but today the people being trained will be able to help administer the system. The Two. Basic Needs Trust Fund 10 cycle beneficiary assessment procedure has been completed. The assessment was done by a delegation from the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, SSDF, and the Caribbean Development Bank, CDB. We have improved the program and enhanced the program over the years to maintain relevance. Of course, it is CDB's flagship poverty reduction program. So our focus is on uh, communities that are low income and vulnerable. One. The St. Lucia commemorated World Hand Hygiene Day under the theme Accelerate Action Together, Save Lives, Clean Your Hands. To promote the recommended hand washing hygiene practices, we will be engaging the schools, the primary school children in the lower grades, as grades K and grade one. So we will be teaching them how to wash their hands properly and we will be interacting with them as well as giving them hands-on activities. 